Sunday morning of Scott Smith's contest and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day if it's anything like yesterday and we really ended the day with a beautiful party at Scott's as always and if you haven't been to this contest this is one you really don't want to miss sometime in your lifetime come up share the contest it's a good one anyway we're going to get down have the usual we have about 35 people for breakfast we're going to go over to the fox run load up the van and from there go right to the field No, he's uh. He's going to be off camera. He's henpeck. <laughs> ah, henpeck! Ah, henpeck! Rudy's henpeck! He's doing honeydews. I like that. Hey, I got something to show you. Hey, I do honeydews too. Yeah, I know, I know. No, he's not. You kidding? Those. I wouldn't trade my wife for all the gay men in the world. <laughs> Hello, Rudy. 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 Hello, R
It does run a little. You know, but it's got it, 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 it's got the nice two four break. Off with the break. All right. yeah, I made a gauge when I did that one, so I can do you know like replicate it now. All right. All right yeah. let's, wait, I want to see what this Bonzo flew into. All right. Here. This has got it in the back here too, but this I think is just a repair. That's a back. cosmetic repair. That was just hit there. Yeah. This is the yeah, wing you got to make right. The yeah, wing has out, to be. Bring it out to me. Yeah, bring it out. Let's see what this whole deal is. Maybe we could figure a way of doing this. It's got to go on the table. Got it real. You got to line it up. He, he didn't hurt this. But see, here's what happened. Let me show you exactly what happened. See how this wire is bent? Yeah, yeah you caught that. That's what stopped. This is what happened to Tsunami, and I didn't bend it back. So what happened is, from when this is flying, it's doing this all the time. You just unsolder this and replace it. Replace oh, the wire. Boy, don't bend it back and say, oh, that's good enough. No, no, it no, doesn't. Replace that. And that's what cost me the plane. Yep. If it was me, I'd put cable in it. I wouldn't put the wire yeah, in it. Well, whatever. Either thought. way, you can Now, see, this easy. We could make a tongue in here. That's it. Like tongue depressors coming out. Yep. yep. And while this is under this way, we could fill that, put some glass cloth in there, and then build this with, because the bottom, you don't care the glass cloth. You can glass cloth the whole thing. Flap broke nice and easy, too. Yeah, flap isn't bad. It's just got a good yeah. scratch down it. Yeah, the no, the flap's okay. Split. And no, nothing to the nose. The nose is solid? The no, nose is fine. From here on in, thank God it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, nothing hitting, no, no, nothing in the yeah. belt crank system or anything. Is, you didn't pull a belt crank out or anything? No. No, nothing. Okay. Nothing that used to be right in the corner there. Wow. All right, so there's no reason that this is... It's not know, bad. Yeah, a few nights, I mean, a couple of days, back together. then you fly it before you do the cosmetic. Fly it to make sure it's lined up, and then over the winter... It's not bad. See, from there on back, it's... Yeah, you got everything. It's okay. It's all solid. Okay. I got an extra set of ribs. And glassing this over is no big deal, Dave. When you, yeah. when you put this out, you put one layer of, you know, half yeah. ounce cloth, it's just yeah, as solid as it ever was. back so I can get at it. See, once you glue it on this, this first side, then you got to stand back stable. and look at it. You got stability. It's stability. Then you can connect this with two tongue depressors. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The main thing is you just got to rebuild the spars. Well, it's better to use like kite sticks. Kite sticks would be a good choice, or tongue depressors, so they're hardwood. Oh yeah. Instead of balsa. No, no, no. And the, the glass. Trailing, the trailing edge is gone too. Oh. The but glass it's is. Non-structural. No, nah, the trailing edge is purely holds the shape. You fill that with CA and hit it with kicker, and it's fixed. It's stronger than the wood around it. You'd, next time it breaks, it won't break at the joint. And a lot of this stuff, when you, you get it back together, stuff when you stuff. fold. Well, you know, another thing, while you got it ripped out like this, you know, you can get, like, end it at one rib bay. That's why I In this it. whole area, you can just block sand down. Yeah, just refinish that. Because it flies too good not to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, if you don't want it, throw it in my truck. <laughs> I'll hey, put it in your truck. I know, so, I know somebody that will take this off your hands. <laughs> oh, we don't want the to right put price, it on my too. bench, you know? Yeah, how to fix it after you fly into a light pole or something. Sell another 2,000 videos. Yeah, come on. You have this in back and shape. No problem. You have plenty of planes to fly. Okay, let's put them back in this home. What do we got? Another 15 minutes here and we can get flying? Let's go get set up. Where's the wind? In the sun. It in the sun. You're looking right at the sun, baby. The flag is down now. Here comes two cans. Hey, Robert, sure, don't you know it's illegal to breed two cans in the United States? <laughs> the rare bubble breed of two cans. <laughs> the plane does fly pretty good. It flies excellent. And the contest is on. Noel Drindak, first man to illegally start a motor five minutes before nine. <laughs> Neighbors are already calling the state police. Quarantine. It's in quarantine, yes. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I gotta show you when you know it does look better than it did last year, the last time you saw it. You got rid of some of the bubbles? Doesn't matter to me. Hop on.
see here today, one of the people from the Canadian F2B team was here, was here last night with a, a pretty good copy of Zhang Dong's World Championship plane, and we're going to, he was practicing with me, in fact, last night at the end of the night before we went to Scott's. It looks like it flies really well. Double star 60. He even has the Zhang paint job. We'll be getting him on the tape soon.
Okay, we're ready to, pretty much ready to get ready. Ten more seconds. Everybody's getting their last practice flights in now. I guess they're going to start the contest soon. Oh, he's got enough trouble now, dude. Nah, we can make fun of him. Everybody's seen enough of this plane flying or next to the goldfish pond, right? That's so weird to see the plane. Man. What's he doing with his left hand? Looking at the hand and the shoulders, looks like he's got palsy. I don't know. He's got paralyzed on that left side. I'm waiting for him to scratch his crotch. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Happy Pepper, we can fix that in the next place. I like that shirt. Well dressed, Karen dressed him, he has the Garanimal outfit on. <laughs> yeah, it looks like the monkey suit. Yep. Got these all in biggest size. I got the two man suitcase. That's nice. That's nice. This is no fun watching this. You could run into the center screaming. That is driving it up a little. Eggs. He must add eggs. He must add eggs for breakfast. That'll liven up the video. Hold on, we gotta turn it this way so we can fit them in. Yeah, that'll work. There you go. Now we can get the tops of those loops in. Look at that. We have a pilot meeting about quarter to ten, and we try to get started about ten o'clock. All right. Oh, uh, you're shut off, mister. Break the camera. Yeah, Dale, where, Dale, where did he qualify? Dale, Dale mister, I qualified, <laughs> what, 30th Earnhardt? I got, a, I got a guy I work with who's a side in the little Earnhardt fanatic. So we all got hats that have the number three on the one and side. And you're a trooper, and you flip, right? Then you flip them over and, and they're, you know. You mean, you mean there's a cop that's an Earnhardt fan? This, this, is, fire, this fire, is really fire, dangerous, you know. Firemen, these guys oh, are firemen? Firemen? Okay. Earnhardt fans. Yeah. They don't have to take the psych test. Did you see the qualifying? <laughs> No, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. How'd it go? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it sucked so bad we had to save video for real flights. Windy Erdnowski. The Daryl Wall trip of stunt. <laughs> no, he's at least got plans. <laughs> Where's Peter glow plug when you need him? Oh, two hands, must be a 60 pulling two hands. Here it is, these are the two double star owners. Uh, okay, are there any comments for the, those of us unable to buy double stars? Oh, yeah, well, how unfortunate for you and how ah! He's got a ball bearing one. Oh, he's got a ball bearing one? Oh, you got the one with no ball bearings, yeah. That's why they call it light. I think it's two ounces lighter. Yeah. Oh, is that the double star light case one there? No, no, no he's got one. This one has ball bearings. Joe's got the one with no ball bearings. What do you like? Do you like it, Joe? I'm learning how to run it. It's so far, it's pretty good. Is it in your plane that you're flying today? It was in there all day yesterday. Oh, CS has been available for a long time. It's flying great. Another nice day here at Coxsackie. Double stars abounding, rebounding. But I don't know if you could fit your spinner or not over the top of them. How much does the shaft stick out of the nut now? 
Well, no, you, you can get some close oh, up to this later. Side mounted, you know, this double star ball bearing yeah, 60. One that's, that's the one that uh, it looks like the uh, volley prop. Folly, okay. It was short about an eighth inch, so I had one of my spacers that keeps coming loose on me. Stay tight on this one. Remember the Canadian F2B2? The front on the end of the motor, the drive bonnet, or whatever you want to call it, on this one has the edge. The foot motor's running great. Yeah, I don't want to touch that. I'm just worried if it gets a little warmer, the brake might change. But right now it's running fine. No, it got better yesterday when it got hotter. Okay. It got breakier. Breaky, breaky heart. It's a pretty good copy of uh, Zhang Dung's World Championship model. Like even, even if it's a take apart, even the paint job is very similar. Now, I think he got screwed on. He didn't make motel reservations until the last minute. He wound up staying in Buffalo or something, somewhere far away. So the key is if you're going to come up to Coxack and get those reservations in early. At the Days Inn or the Fox Run, two good choices. Excellent contest, you'll really guaranteed have a great time. See Bob Roberts was in the background there flying his two can. Goes right from a cardinal tip. Flies real well, even though it's heavy, and that's always my contention. One of the advantages of building that type of wing. The plane comes out a little heavy, the world doesn't end. You don't wind up with an ashtray, you still have a functional model. Even the paint job is very similar, I don't think it's an exact copy. But it, it captures the flavor and the look of uh, Zhang's model. And we were hearing some very interesting statistics from Mr. Doherty last night. He's, obviously they're both from Canada, he, he spoke to Zhang and Zhang had Told him he's the head of the Chinese Youth Aero Modeling Society or Aero Modeling Society and that they had how many kids were involved in the program and he said real slowly he said eight hundred thousand. So I guess they have a good talent pool to draw from and that a lot of the model aviation related stuff was mandatory in school. So I guess they really do have a little bit of an advantage. And we have reform school. <laughs> anyway, Zhang's obviously a very talented flyer, world champion. I don't, I don't remember two or three times he was, and for sure a, uh, a man of many talents. And this being one of them, I used to be able to buy. I didn't even ask him if he had this built. It used to be you could buy these models from Tom Dixon, I think, already built. Trimmed and flight trimmed and everything, all ready to go. with a side mounted engine that the motor brakes a little harder on insides than outside. I've been trying to listen to the motor run. And of course we've been spending a lot of time with the C-Fire trying to get the motor run 
really, really equal or and or to just a little bit faster inverted. Obviously, some people don't choose that. Breaking on the insides. Well, anyway, we'll listen to it when there's less motors in the background. I just, I'm very interested to see. It's one of the reasons that I abandoned forever the side mounted engine thing is I could never get the motor to run exactly the way I wanted it to. And I'm sure Billy Woolridge had similar problems in some point in time because he's abandoned the side mount motor. So is Cosmonato. So it's interesting just to see who can make this stuff work, but obviously Zhang can. So it just shows you how many different ways there are to do things. Really? Yeah. Ain't that nice? No, 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 you're beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Prussian precision. Is Suarez a, a Prussian name? I don't know. What kind of muffler is that? Looks like an Adam Eason, old Adam Eason with the holes. Okay. I'm looking for a muffler for mine. My L61. Looking for a big Jake in a cage again? Yeah. Taylor, you're going in that cage before the day's over. Yeah, I've been the question. Glenn Kelly, the Georgia dog torture. No, no, okay. Back to Modan. Is then. He says you belong in here and he should be out in the real world. <laughs> Every time you capture something, he runs in that crate. <laughs> Yeah. You allowed to bring women in there or what? I'll go get that. Uh, I'll go get that. Yeah. 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 There he is. End of the hour. Yo Ortiz. You got that money you owe me, Joe? I got it. I'm going to work here. Ah. All right. We have fluids if you need it. See us at the desk. Uh, there will be 50-50 tickets today to raise a couple bucks for the club and to put this meat on. A uh, little threat here. If you want to come to Love, let's execute him. Before we go any further, put him in that doghouse. Joe, Joe Ortiz has given so much to this hobby, we want to do a little something special for Joe. Um, we tried to, to get the governor to come, he was busy, the mayor couldn't make it, town supervisor was playing golf this morning. So we came up with a plaque. You guys going to put his gas on the way out to Tucson? On behalf of the <laughs> Capital District Model Airplane Club, thank you for everything you've done for the hobby. Uh, adios amigo, good luck to uh, the Hey Joey! Hey! Address. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll find it. You gave everybody wall gas address. Thanks a lot. They're clearing off all the cactus and putting a campground in the backyard. <laughs> 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 Hope you like the camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He will too. <laughs> Today you'll be flying two rounds. The highest score is the one that counts towards your towards your trophy. Uh, we'll fly, be flying on four circles. We'll fly expert on the first circle. We'll fly intermediate. Uh, I'm sorry, advanced. The second circle, intermediate in the third, and beginner on the back circle. They're all, all circles are in pretty good shape. The, the club folks have done a nice job getting the field in shape. Uh, I also want to acknowledge the efforts of our ladies, without whose help we, there would be no meat. There's only about eight of us in the club. So. Uh, judges for today, expert will be Dick Woolsey and Rich Peabody, advanced Jimmy Damarell and Glenn Kaler, intermediate Noel Drindak and a future draft choice, and beginner Mark O'Connell and Rob Larson. All right, for judges, still need an intermediate judge if somebody cares to uh, throw your hat in the ring here. Questions, comments, problems? Any? Thing we can answer for you. Yeah, they again, advanced, uh, expert, advanced. How was that again? Expert. Expert. On one. Advanced. Two. Intermediate. Three. Beginner. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Who's thanks, the pit boss? Uh, pit boss. Uh, uh, Noel Drindak and um, Earl Mitchell. 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 Earl
Tell him he's judging into me. You're judging into me. You need the tan anyway. Try to start about 10 o'clock. You don't let me have a dime. I can't even pay my entry fee. The girls are saying I'm a cheapo. They're right. <laughs> so look, ladies, we're going to audition for a strip show later. Anybody want to be the first one? Suarez volunteered, but uh, this is four years in a row. John Duncan is flying around with his battery on. Notice the battery's still on the motor. Now John wants those extra reliable tune pipe runs, so he leaves the battery. In fact, he's been thinking about leaving a fuel jug attached to the plane during the flight. <laughs> oh man, he did this before. John, the I won't do this next year. Where is he? Uh, uh. Next year, tuck your shirt in too, John. You have that ghetto look with that shirt hanging out. He looks taller if you hold the camera this way, doesn't he? Anyway, hey, many, many people, including myself, have done this on official flights. I used to run out to the handle and leave the alligator clips of playing the let go and go ping! Anyway, the newest trend in hot rod stunt, leave the battery on for extra RPM. Anyway, this plane seriously is a great flying little plane. We've got this on video at the NAS Cup. And he's got the, uh, the little K and B, the blue one, on there, and it's a nice running. It won't run without the yeah. powder on it. Yeah, rub it in, no. Hey, no sense having any humility here. Get him while his pants are down. I've done this. This is really embarrassing. I thought the hell this plane's awful nose heavy. <laughs> Son of a bitch. And then John DeTavio swears he took it off. You know, we used to rely on John to take it off. Right, right. Look at that. Doesn't even know the... Hey, Johnny! Forgot the wind over! Hey! He forgot the whole flight! <laughs> You can tell what friends you have up here, huh? They really rub it in. In that airplane. Now wait, say this real slow, Len. Len, Mike Rogers is better at, than you, but try. Rosebud. <laughs> Rosebud. Rosebud. So you could be that guy in the movie, Citizen King. Rosebud. 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 Don't you, your lip, it just flows off your lips. So. He's got to take a lip. <laughs> I'm kissing my ass all the time. <laughs> you leave Mike alone. He's okay. You stay out of there. The women in the world deserve a man like him. Uh, what years they do with those big lips? <laughs> Are you typing this? Of course. Well, when you get that proper wood, they make me and uh, ship me out a, a top lock. Oh, yeah. It's I got wood on the water. You do. And yeah, I make a top. On. You do. I, right. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's hard to ship because the box is bigger than a plane when you... Oh, oh, I'll, right. I'll hand deliver it when I see Midgley. Okay, that'll be fine. Write a note and leave it with Karen. When? Cardinal Top Lock. Dynamite Karen. Yeah, but uh, you'll have so much better than this Magnum stuff. I, I, I what can I say? Hey. I've had it for nine years. Hey, if you had a thousand dollars handy, you could be flying a Red Baron right now. I do have a thousand dollars handy. <laughs> well, give it to the kid's father, we'll get him and we'll fly Woody's butt. <laughs> Rosebud. Rose Show butter. me the money. <laughs> right, Stanley? Got it. He's all talking until it comes time to write the check. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. One thousand and no cents. For the Spitfire. <laughs> forget the Spitfire. <laughs> you have to throw in your house for that. <laughs> Robert, Joe, what is this, a mattress or an airplane? What the hell is this thing? This plane looks like, this looks like a cheap motel. This is... This, <laughs> no, 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 everything goes on That's video. Rachel's pants. Rachel's, you took my, Rachel, where's Rachel? <laughs> He's got your pants on his foot. <laughs> Jeez, and look, he uses those great windy line reels to save 10 bucks. His head under his he makes a line reel out of a piano or something. <laughs> look at this guy. Yeah, I'm on the oh, Robert Shaw, sure, you're okay. I really, I really hate those guys that much. Yeah. Listen, that new Cardinal kit you have, it better not be 70 ounces. That's all right, because Harding's is going to be 62. I don't know how to fly anything less than 80 ounces. Oh, God. It does fly good. Midgley said it needs a little trim tab on the bottom of the outboard wing. Did he tell you? No. See Midgley, he's got some suggestions for you. You want to fix the plane? Is it fixable? Yeah. They're at the local beauty pageant, the Miss New York beauty pageant. We're really clearing the field of mosquitoes over here.
Yeah, that's a good one. Where's the video? Uh, everybody for a field goal? Let's see if he can make it. No, Mitchell, don't. Don't, 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 Dave, don't do that. No. Help, help. Yep. Ready? You guys ready? Yep. Where's Anybody's yep. in the can. He's got diarrhea. Takes the battery off. What a guy. This flight will be without the battery. I'll bet you your confession's low. Low? Yeah. Uh, I think it's low. Well, you should, it doesn't matter whether it keeps running, but it's, it's, when you flip it, yeah. it's about to go up to you. Okay? Just flip it to the tank if you see the What size is it? 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 Yeah. Red bands are the ones that are going to be on the What's that? Mother Goose dance? Come on. He's listening for the stunt gods now. Mother Goose dance again. What do you think he's at? Giving directions at an airport?
the section big time. Bridge won't see that though. It's a 42 horizontal leg. Yes, all the only sandbagging. Look to me too short on top, I'm not sure. Behind the camera. Look too short on top. Inside is smaller than the outside. Let's get a good shot at it. Missed a little bit. Hey, I like the AMA number. I just noticed that. ND. ND51643. That's my birthday. Really? 51643. Wow, you're old. What do you mean old? I'm 51943. That should be my number. Hey, you're, th you're three days older than me. Joe, I think we better have this verified with the FBI. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm three days oh, older than you. Oh, okay. We look like we're the same age. Hey, in a dark room, we are the same age. No kidding. To a blind woman, we are the same yeah. age. <laughs> the other thing to notice is that the lettering is in a letter set font that is called Kestrel. Kestrel. Ooh. The plane is not named after a bird. It's named after the font. Oh. It's named, oh. named after dry transfer letters. Oh. That's cool. I thought it was named after Fond du Lac, Michigan. <laughs> well, that's a typical beast opening, isn't it? Yeah. Andy, I like that. I gotta, I gotta somehow incorporate that into my, uh, my eavesdripping program. It's gonna cost you like ten bucks a year. Alphanumeric number like 5-19-42. <laughs> you mean you could get a personal number like Wendy? You were a boy in Pittsburgh, man. I'll keep the money.
Hey Bill, are you looking for a place to practice? Hey, one second. The pride of Bumblejinsky, New York. And one of our favorite people. Personalized, I never noticed you could get personalized. See how much I know? Personalized, hey, I know he has a personal license plate that says, I'm cool. No links. What's going we get Nola personal license plate? I don't know. Kestrel. Anyway. has probably got one of the largest collections of videos on the East Coast and I know he shares them with everybody so he's a good guy. I don't care what Scott Smith says about him. I don't care what his wife says about him. What Karen Ernowski says about him. He's okay. It's really gotten hot here, but boy, is there ever a nice flying day. Mamma mia. Really a nice flying day. Take the night out of hand, it's sad and lonely. And all I have to do is act naturally. I haven't seen Steve Bussell. I was hoping Steve would show up. Say hello to everybody. Do some kibbutzing, kibbutzing in the kibbutz. Kyle and Dave both have their Red Baron flights in. They both got, they actually got it. pretty nice flights here, but we're going to try to work with Kyle this upcoming day at Middlesex. Spend some quality time. Jim Damerel has a KMD-61 we're going to try to get in the plane, a big Jim KMD-61. So he'll have two motor options. A lot of good choices. Mako's having a time of his life over there. Joe Ortiz is getting special awards that he never comes back to Jersey. Joe, we love you, but show me the money. Anyway. But I won't need the same. Anyway, everybody seems to be really having a great day. This is one of the nicest. I'll tell you, I'll tell you about them all, but all the contests are fun. This is an exceptionally good one. Party at Scott's is always great. That's on the tape before this. We had a lot of trimming. Everybody was helping each other trim and fly and cut lines and step on lines and every other thing, give us bullshit lines, but it was fun. Even the women were mellow yesterday. Even my wife let me have a couple of bucks for Snickers bars. No 
all I have to do is pack my shoes. Anyway, Noel Grimbach, first official flight. You'll be in great shape, but hey. Yeah, I'm just here to... Meanwhile, you're on an NFL team instead of playing in a high school, you know? <laughs> I'm just here to sort out the airplane and get feel for it. No, you'll believe me. We'll do a lot Saturday, too. Get a good night's sleep Friday night. We're going to work like a mule Saturday. And then i got to go out to Vic's contest Sunday. So you guys could go down to Middlesex and fly all day with Carlos. Yeah. Carlos is probably going down there. I mean, where they sell model cars? You send me that catalog. Rocket City. Okay, we want to see this. I saw how you did this with two horns, and that's excellent. I like that. Well, that's as per the plan. Okay? But the push rod here is aerospace carbon fiber. Inside the push rod, we've got a grade 8 uh, uh, um, cap head machine screw. It's been turned down so it's just a snug fit inside here. It goes in about an inch. Okay. That's epoxied in. That's a steel screw. Yeah. Hardened steel screw. So this is just all I'm to get you on because I know you, you've done this and I haven't. This is steel inside. Up it's not about, wood or? About here. Okay. That's where the head of the screw would be. It's an inch and a half screw. Okay. And then uh, I drill a hole through the shank of the screw. Okay. Chuck it in a way so it's centered. Yeah, I put that on the press. You okay. drill a hole here, and it's got a sixteenth of an inch stainless steel pin through there. Okay, good. This thing is pinned. Then I put a little e extra epoxy over the top of it just to seal it and make sure the fibers don't lift and right, stuff like right. that. Well, on mine, what I do, Noel, I wrap this with cotton. Well, you've seen it on the tape. Yeah, you can wrap it with... Uh, yeah. Here's what I was going to run by you. What I want to do, I want to make a horn like you have here with two uprights. Yeah. So that the ball link is in the middle. Yeah, ain't going nowhere. Yeah, no, what I'm saying is I, d I haven't done this yet. I want to come up with an okay, idea and this. Is, this is Rocket City's number 57 ball link. Okay. Okay, it's a, it, actually it's a spherical bearing rod end. That's what it would be called. Okay. And this guy's good for a 50-pound pull. This is a 632 screw here. Okay. So a 632 and that's screw. a steel bolt, not a, a soft, you know. That's a grade 8 bolt. It's like 180,000 PSI steel. Okay. Uh, very strong. And, uh... You know, like I told you, uh, I had uh, a slightly weaker version of this thing mm -hmm. on a stunt wagon. Yeah. When a plane crashed, I had a wing, a stab, and a push rod holding them together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I've been, here's the deal with the Red Baron is, I have one horn yeah. that's in there, and the, and the hole is really one. Well, I mean, you could move the elevator up yeah. half an inch. So what I was thinking of doing, instead of replacing the bushing, just a thought, he's going to come by Monday night, is if I had one of these, I can put right in the hole of the push rod then I can move it front to back a little bit and silver solder it in but I don't know if I can do this see I'm looking at this and I don't think that's gonna work right. no I can't I was thinking these had that you could thread this into a I see how this works now it's not gonna work that's a 440 screw there but it gets crimped on here uh, what do you use plastic over that I can't see the plastic I mean, yeah. oh, oh, heat shrink tubing that's a little heat shrink just to keep it from Let's kinking it up close that's a cool little idea See, I put that with that fishing tubing on there. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely good. But when, when these things get crimped, they cannot hexagonal. That's that's aircraft uh, quality crimping. I mean, you could get something FAA certified with that on there. As it's long the as you don't solder it, it's certified. That's, that, that's the same thing Zane Bell uses. He, he had a little yeah. article about that. Another but, idea, if you do cables, you could run two cables. So even if one broke, you wouldn't be out to lunch. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, if uh, cable control system... I mean, they use them in, in commercial aircraft, right? DC-3s. I guess they don't break in. <laughs> go, go, inside, go inside a C-5A and look in the overhead. There's a whole... Just missed the segment for your crash repair. Well, let me see this. What do you... You putting me out of business? Just put you, when are you going to buy some shoes, Bob? You just missed the crash repair. Let's see. What do you got going here? Oh, we got a little... I saw you were laying on your back yesterday like a reptile. I'm a multi-piece uh, flap here. One... One piece yeah. turned into many pieces. Yeah. Somewhere along the way, mm. I don't know. I think one of the lanes will get bounced all the way back there. <laughs> well, you guys are the star of the circle burners with these things. I'll tell you, the difference, you know, the difference between you know, me and you guys is, you know, you're on your break, you're out there practicing for your second round, and I'm out there flying my bicep. 
Um, Have you considered a pedicure, Bob? <laughs> I wish he'd fall asleep. We could spray paint his feet pink or something. <laughs> Cheer up, my boy. Off the you want to fly it now? Off the flight of bus. Come on, entertain us. I want to sit in the shade for a while. Are you guys flying in that way? Want to borrow a battery, John? <laughs> How about just give them a well, they never let you live it down, do they? Just God. Give them a pattern sheet with you, that's all we need. Tell you what, put it right here or someplace where it has a little bit of paper There we go. Somebody will figure it out. Somebody will figure it out. Rich Peabody, first official. I hear laughing women. They must be talking about my sex life. Just Look at these it. guys. Oh, no. They're laughing at my legs. I've already come down to three inches. Right? What do you got? A three-inch bell crank in there? <laughs> Yeah, we're talking to Noel. I'm trying to get some some ideas of how we can do something with the new I beam C fires that are going to split fires, whatever Suez fires, whatever they're going to be. We haven't really firmly committed, but we know the wing is going to be an I-beam. 57 ribs. Don't leave home without them. But I have the same problem with my uh, bus. And eventually... Uh, I feel somebody grabbing my thigh. I hope it's a female. Oh, oh. Or it's a male with a feminine voice. <laughs> What's happening? No. How's he doing, okay? Great. He's good, he's a good kid. Don't leave home without him. He's having fun, he's excited about flying the Red Baron. How much better than this does it get? You want to break for lunch here, cutie? They got hot dogs, what do they have? Burgers? You got the money, I'll go over with you. Hey, let me finish Rich's flight, I'll take a walk with you. I'm ready for lunch. I thought you were saying I go to the floor and I'm going to try to find out 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 and I'm going to try they're doing that by swabo thing there he whacked it yesterday Time for a lunch break. I'm getting hungry. 
Hungry, hungry, hungry. Attempt that mowing the grass. Not cute, Bob. Okay, Jake. Jake, we know this is the dog Vietnam torture chamber here. <laughs> Dawn, I'm so I'm I'm so unimpressed. I want to see Glenn in that before the day is over. And make him eat out of the bowl too. Oh, or drink out of the pail. Drink out of the pail, Glenn. Oh man. Glenn Kill, a dog abuser. Jimmy dropped the chair on his plane yesterday. Yeah, he's we'll he's see this later. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy, he Jimmy. Made a right hand turn and they went. Goodbye, biplane. He could have won the biplane event today. He was pissed. Oh, I'll bet. Tell me the truth. Was he really pissed? He was really pissed. <laughs> we catch him on camera. Chris says you ought to get a job packing vans for people, moving, moving, evaluate. oh, look at this, pepperoni pizza, no, 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 I'm eating health food today, nothing but healthy hot you dogs. You know Karen's behind you, huh? Yeah, okay. I know, as <laughs> soon as she leaves, I'll do something else. Bill Suarez getting a couple of practice flights while the air is real nice. And it is beautiful right now. Stunt heaven. What? Show me the money. Show me the $100 bills. <laughs> ah, a voice from the past. In dog years, I'm dead. How's it going? Hey, Al. One day, you're good. Yeah, it was. Are oh, you taking a picture of the top of my head? Oh, I want to see what I look like in the mirror. <laughs> Glenn, get in that box. Get in that box, you bum. Let the dog out, and you get in there and drink out of that bowl. A little bit the same way. A little bit. Well, that's what you think you should do for me? Karen, well, I don't have any money. Make Karen buy some. Um, honey, I don't have enough with me. I just have her. You know, look at Kyle. Look at Kyle. He's a drug dealer. He's got $14. When do you have any you want? Four. <laughs> Two hot dogs. And one, hot dogs. For, and one for me. Oops, I'm losing it, too. Good catch, Wendy. Uh, you're go. buying your lunch already, huh? Nah, yeah, lunch. Man, that's a deal. Buy me a Super Tiger 60 to hold at lunch. Give him a plane. He has to buy you a hot dog. I'll take <laughs> a hot dog for anyway. a plane. What a guy. Hi, Carlos. Yeah, right. you come up? He's one up to New Jersey. Hey guys. How are you? Let's see. How are you? This is Kevin. How old are you? Kevin. You need some money. <laughs> I'm rich. Cool. He'll, he'll cool. Get this so how's it going up there? Okay. Good. Great contest. Two days. Two great days. It's real windy at home before I left. I thought you guys might be. No wind at all. Nothing. Been okay a little. Yeah. So far, anyway. Been good. Yeah. Things are a lot better than this. Good. 
Oh, Dawn's taking pictures. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Dude, it's Hanford. Finally, I broke the toilet. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God.
second official flight from Doherty of Canada, Toronto. Are we even having fun with King in the pits, hanging around laughing? He uses three ounces of fuel to do the stunt pattern. And this is a take apart plane. I don't know if we're going to be able to get him to take it apart for us. He doesn't take it apart to put it in the car. Looks like he's got the fuel consumption wired on this. Perfect. He didn't fly it off. Uh, six. Well, worked. the battery worked. The battery worked. Okay, did you get it running? Yep. Okay, great. Twenty bucks. <laughs> Didn't run. Nineteen bucks. <laughs> you gonna fly it, or did you fly it down here yet? Or are you gonna wait um, for the contest to be over? Or what? Yeah, we, uh, we flew it and kind of smashed. Smashed. Yep. No rudder. No stabilizer. Wings. Is there enough left to fly? The, the flight of the Phoenix. Father Regis wrote his flight of the Phoenix here. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have Wendy say mass at your house next week. That, if I say mass, that church will topple down. All the nuns will jump out the window. Busco <laughs> second official flight. Another double star. We get to see back-to-back -back double stars here. Hey, it was good to see Steve Busso. Steve's got his son here. He's got a bunch of cool little stuff coming out. One of them is a, a thing called Little Legends, five half A's of the American World Champions, kind of little half A model. Impact, Nobler, Genesis. Uh, which one did I leave out? Stiletto and USA One. Kind of cool stuff. Coming out in stunt news, look for it. Joe Anamusco. Always able to bear down at the last minute. Grab the bear by the horns. Bears don't have horns. Okay. Rob Aronstein giving him the launch. A little breezier than the early flight. Beautiful takeoff. Whoa. Killer takeoff. Fly to the Philly Flyers, Joe Adamusco. Ooh, nice wing over for us. Cardinal Aerodynamics. Joe Adamusco Aesthetics. Double star for power. Comes time all winter when you're building and sanding and silk spanning and you got these videos playing on your VCR constantly and you can go back and look at these flights. Hey, oh nice. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll keep you warm in the winter. 
even if your wife turns the heat down and says, come on up to bed, you can... Ah, I just want to watch Joe Adamusco fly one more time. Quite here, Joe. I'm impressed. Very, very nice.
better than what we're made of. Real nice. I've been using one for the last couple weeks. I got another special one ordered. I don't know if he's going to get it to me by the team show. Hey, Randy. Yeah, well, you could polish him. If you don't have a buffing wheel, you can come over to shop and shiny. He makes them shiny and see. You're ready, Kyle. All right, we got just enough. This is the last flight. Oh, my God. He's ready. Rock and roll. He's got his official Red Baron pit crew, Dave Midgley, on counter rotating props here. Just be careful, the air has gotten hawky. You saw my flight yeah, all over the sky. Yeah, it's getting hawky now. It looks, in fact, it looks like a storm was coming in, but yeah. yeah, it got real hawky in the last half hour or so. Just be careful. you can afford to have your own battery, just like a big guy. <laughs> no, think about how. Oh, be thinking where you want to take off. Remember, you don't want to take off. You don't want to take off. It's really when you want to take off that down. Like, almost in front of the Watch the guy in front of you where he and see if he's doing them right. Half of the people don't do them right, so but you can tell. Look at the just look at the smoke. Just like this side of downwind. So you're not like right here, so the wind picks the tail up. Okay, so yeah. You don't want to be over here. You should take off. You're coming into the wind and the wind lifts the plane off the ground right away. Okay. Because the wind's blowing, the faster the wind blows on the leading edge of the wing. Yeah. Sounds good. I'll get your handle. You put the plane down. Like the professional that you are. Uh, I don't know about that. Well, at least we'll try to bullshit some of the people. <laughs> some of the time. You got to get some matching sneakers. You can't go for these uncoordinated. No, no, no. No, you got to get like uh, Red Baron sneakers. <laughs> Godspeed, John Glenn. Good luck. Thank you. I have complete confidence in them. And if you have to bail out of the flight, if it gets terrible, forget it. Just bail out, no problem. Probably go a little further downwind, Bob, Majorly. Go a little further down. Hey, what a guy. What a guy. Steve the Julia would be proud of you. Yeah, for what it's worth, I always prefer to be maybe three feet less than full downwind just to get the tail up in the air before it comes. That's about right. And the grass is kind of boring. As you can see, the air has deteriorated in the second round. It was beautiful this morning, but it's got you. Look at the little things blowing in the background there. And the only downside of this whole thing is we had trouble. We had a bad goal plug in it, first of all. We had a little trouble starting it yesterday, but since then it seems to have been starting okay. Super low compression, so it may be a little wimpy for this air. But I guess we'll know soon.
can see right away the wind is kind of rickety here. He's got a little bit of a rickety rickshaw going. And we did go in one click on a needle. Okay, so we'll find out if he can keep up with it. We'll see. It'll be a good test for him. Good, Carl. One click made the difference. One click, two shots. Okay, but for this area, you don't know if it's going to blow. Jim! Give me the point. He's better off flying fast like this in this air. It doesn't get away from it. It was hawky when I was flying. It was really bumpy. You know, sneaky bumpy, not obvious bumpy. You just be coming out of a maneuver and the thing gets slapped. This isn't too fast to fly to place. And who cares if he hurts the engine? We're going to re-ring it anyway. It's not over the top yet. No, it's fine. So even though it's on a dead lean run, it's not going. It's not, it's not going crazy. Now, if you had if you had a 51 now with a six pitch prop and it was going this lean, you'd be dead. You now here's where he's got to step into it. Let's see if he does. Yeah, he's fine. I told him to spread it out. That looked a little better. You know he's not going to have trouble turning outside. <laughs> Oop, easy, Kyle. Easy, baby. It's fast, it's fast. It's fast. Yeah, it's getting ahead of him. Okay. All right, well, when you land, go back out. One click. Oh, he's done. Okay, back out anyway so he doesn't take a fast flight. Hey, he's handling the pressure okay. I think you're better off in this air just flying fast. You don't get smacked around as much. I was flying too slow. I should have went in a click. What that plane needs is a different hand. If he and I are both doing the same thing. The insides Will. are real big, the outsides are yeah. real teeny. We'll make them a handle Monday night. We'll, we'll, we'll draw that one on a piece of paper so there's right. a reference point. Just make out like a Xerox copy of it. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's got handles, I think. I'm not sure. I think he does. What you need is one that's almost... Short arms is what you need. You need a short, short arm. arm. Short arm on the top, though. Yeah. And a long arm on the bottom, because you want to deaden that outside corner. Well, or else I just got to fix the tail horn. Fix the bushing in the tail where it's worn. He's doing fine. It's going vertical fine. And it's, it's really cranky out there now. This air was kind of rickety, you know? All right, Kyle. Easy, baby. He missed the wind. Yeah, he missed the wind. Actually, he should be to the left about yeah. 10 feet. All right, but it's good experience for him. This way we got some reference. We're going to start coaching them Saturday, so. Point so that you can yep. That's why I'm trying to tape every over, flight. Overhead in front. Okay. And good that Jimmy's judging. He can make some notes, too. Hey, yeah. you got it, too. All right. <laughs> Not bad, you punk. 
Count laps. See if he's counting laps now. Come on. So make sure you back the needle out one click, just so he retains the setting. That was at the August setting there you have? The August setting. Hot. Nice landing, jeez. All right, Kyle! Hey! Yo, wimp! What a wimp! Oh, we're waiting to see this cuff. They're adding the score up now. I don't know who, if somebody was ahead of Kyle. Carlos was, but of course we have to take into account appearance points count, of course, and uh, the fact that Kyle's a wimp counts. He's getting sympathy votes from everybody. Eh. All right. Good flight, Kyle. Man, that was All right, that. But see, you got right through it, right? Yeah. Give him a test, Jimmy. <laughs> hey, you did good, Gonzo. Good. Thank you. Hey. Now, even though it's going a little fast, you hung in there good. That's good. That one, the, uh, the hourglass you missed the wind on. Here's what you're doing. You're doing your overheads in front of you, and you're, getting the, you're trying to put the hourglass in the wrong spot. Fly it further to the left, and you won't have that problem where it goes to dive at the end. And what else? The overhead eights he was doing in front of him? The overhead eights were in front. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. That one there? Okay. Yeah. Paint schemes. Paint schemes. Oh, right. hey, you were about so big at the time. Yeah, that was me. Yep. You know, I was back in the good old days. Yeah. Yeah, when, he, no, when we were all young. I know what the good old days yeah, are. <laughs> For him, the good old days are a Where do you look in a mirror and get on a scale? You'll find out what the good old days are. You go for your comb and it's back full of hair. Old days. You go for your toothbrush and you're missing teeth. Who's flying in the back, I Mako? Know. I don't know if I should. I think you should. I think you should. I vote you should. That's three to two. Move the should. needle valve out of click. Back, yeah, yeah back out of click. Back. Come on, on, get over there. Yeah. Homo, kick yeah. his ass. Come on, Carlos, you can Come on, go, line. go. Call it. Come you got on. second? How'd you make that? Second? second. Okay, congratulations. Come on, thank you. I won't, I won't do a whole and how many points did he beat you by? Uh, ten. Mm, okay, no. so if you had fifteen appearance points, you might have won. Uh, fifteen. Appearance. Hey, he got, well, you need sixteen appearance better, points. He got more points than you did. With <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. No, wait. He got more points than you did uh -huh. without him. I heard you're going to expert next week. No, wait wanna, a minute. You want to help me? Sure, I'd be happy to. Give me a hand and back out one click on a needle. Yeah, please. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> All right, Steve Busso's here. He hasn't flown in three years, and we figured maybe we can get him addicted. Instead of giving him a shot of cocaine or heroin, we're going to let him fly to Red Baron. So uh, I hope he has a great time. I hope he gets back into modeling full time. Hey, Steve, come on back. Look at that Cadillac, by the way. Look at that, it's Aronstein's Cadillac here. This is why the Mosquito with Retracts isn't finished. Anyway, Steve, best known for anybody who doesn't know, Pampa President, of course. Best known for about 15 unique designs. He did the Cardinal plans, both of my Cardinals. Uh, excellent, I guess excellent is not even the right word, super draftsman. Among other things, is designed the paint jobs on probably 20 front row planes, including Mike Rogers, including his own. Including his own, he's a concourse winner, and who knows what else he is. Who knows, probably addicted to cocaine and airplanes like all of us here. So anyway, all right, let's get him in the air, baby. Bill Hummel going to give him a launch. Bill ran the contest today. Many thanks, Bill. A great job. Even though the air is kind of crappy now, it's, uh, hey, 
we really did get in the whole first round and about half of the second round before this one got a little breezy, but you can see the things blowing and flipping and vans knocking over and stuff. Tell me that. Make them get in a box. Get in a box and bark, Duncan. Sit. Roof. 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 That's nice. He's a good boy. I'm potty trained too. Well, I'm not. <laughs> Fun. Ladies and gentlemen. Kyle Freeman. <laughs> Try to the Philadelphia Flyers. Kyle, come over here. Another one flip midgley start. Steve Busso retires his first flight. A momentous occasion. First flight in three years. All you gotta do is burp it. Come on, Dave. Put your finger over the uniform vent, baby. There we go. You're in. So I guess when you come down to it, I guess the star of this contest has been the Red Baron and not this heat fire. I don't know. So it just goes to show you, a good plane, even a nine-year-old plane, you're going to have a hell of a good time with it. You really can't have a lot of fun. like Steve's lost any of his reflexes from all those fishing trips he's been on, catching tunas and barracudas and stuff. Looks like Dave gave him the traditional lean run again. Nice, nice needle valve set, Dave. Nice, nice needle valve. He thinks he's fly fishing. <laughs> hey, you got a nice lean run, no doubt about that. Did you back out one quick? Yeah. Maybe you should have backed out two. And then he made me go in there. Oh, he wants to be a show off. Come on, Steve. It's flying fine. No, it, it isn't going over the top. It just shows you, if you give up flying and you go to fishing, you don't forget anything. Steve's concourse plane, Len? Yeah. Len's got it? Yeah. 
Well, I'll save your energy for a standing ovation. This is great. Now Kyle's got to go buff it out again. <laughs> He's hooked. Hey, Dave. I'm walking. Dave, he's hooked. I'm walking. Get, you may as well call up the drug patrol. He's hooked. Uh, and he's got all his planes just sitting there in his bag for what he decides to come down. Yeah, good. He's hooked. No doubt about it. Kind of cool. Yeah. I hope he didn't forget that. <laughs> hey, Steve, make a comeback. Forget it. We'll sell you your old planes back at double the price we paid for them. You can see the trees in the background. This is no easy day. Dude, he likes that handle better than I do. Then we could sell him that handle. The toucan. It's a hand piece, it's a hand piece, it's a toucan. I just happened to know the guy who made that purple paint. Mmm, how convenient. I know, he's got, he's got about three diamonds of it. Mmm, how convenient. <laughs> to paint my van to match. Enough to do that Mustang with the ice Yeah, we don't like that color for it. I love the color for it. I love the color Sam Sirota, what a beauty that is, huh? Oh my god, that was beautiful. I was like, yeah. That was like the ultimate paint job for an I-beamer. All, all changing color on the leading edge. Yeah, that pearl just really, yeah, nice. There's good things and bad things about it. Hey. All right, Steve! Hey! He's back! Show me the money! That'll make a man out of you. <laughs> now we can't go fly fishing. We can't go fly fishing. Poor baby. No more golf. Anymore. No more golf. <laughs> <laughs> my arm, my arm. So you coming up for the circle bar meet? Yeah, for sure. Good man. How about the other guys? Yeah, I don't know, man. This, this was Alex first and Alberto. Let's go to Flushy. Okay, everything said two weeks later la, la, to, 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 to they change your mind. Change your mind. They coming to this one. They didn't came either. Now I, t I told them, you guys tell me where you want to go. I go when I want to mm -hmm. go. If I can go where you can go, we go. If I can, I can. That's it. Well. And they could do it, Wendy. I'm, I'm mad, you know why? Because they could do it. They, for this, it was no problem, you know? Mm. They could do it. Look at Alex, he left today, yesterday. One day of difference, come on. Yeah, one day doesn't matter. Come on, man. Okay, but as long as you're having fun. Oh, yeah. Fix that trim tab. I will. I'll break it in the middle I get home. I'm going to fix it, and I'm going to finish your model. Because I want to... Okay. I want to go to... I want to go to the... Did the tongue muffler work out okay? Or you like the other muffler better? I like that, but I have to trim it. I still need to trim it to okay. with that. Uh, but I'm going to... <coughs> please, I'm, uh, uh, the muffler that you know that works for 60s, <coughs> I need one, please, Wendy. That's the that one. No, but I, I want a muffler. Oh, you got to get it from Randy Holcroft. Oh. Randy Holcroft has them. Okay, okay, okay. In Pampa, you just look in Pampa. Randy Holcroft in Pennsylvania. Okay. And then... Tell them to give you the same one that fits Wendy's plane. Hey, listen. Same one. 
Oh, Alberto flew it. Yeah, I know. And you should have saw the pattern that he did with this model. He yes. went pow, but I, yep. I, he went. He said, "Oh my God." Yep, it's balanced. It, it's trimmed. Oh, it's real close. It. Yeah, real close. Wendy, um, thanks for uh, for letting me. Uh, hey, no problem. No problem. That was fun. I'll give you something to think about tonight when you're in the bathtub. Yeah. Right. Right. I think everybody here flew the thing except my wife. <laughs> yeah, I think about buying back my soundway from Leonard. Yeah. I'll just take it. That's just go to his house and walk out and say, what, your AMA number's not on? That's right. He didn't cash it. Did he pay you with cash or what? No, he, he paid He's got a check? Yeah. Well, I may have to. I never cashed it, man. <laughs> What? I'll give you one back that looks like. Black ink lines. You get some ink lines on it. I have a spare plane if you want to give it back to you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's you that you need. The planes will come and go. Ink lines even around mm -hmm. the top. That'd be really good. Wouldn't yeah. you think so, Wendy? What? Yeah. Yeah. Ink lines. The ink lines between the white and the silver and the red and the white. Oh, yeah. On the bottom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they flow together. No, sir, I finish here because I, I don't want Every to time he comes to a circle burner contest, comes down my cellar, he goes home knowing a lot more than when he got there, one way or another. He knows the plane I I, I, I went to circle burner. He was right. a model. It was, uh, it was a weightlifting. <laughs> C5A. <laughs> weightlifting, weightlifting my model. Huh? Now I come 12 ounces less. That's right. Next one, I will come with five less. Uh, I'll try, at least. Okay. Right there. Well, Start out wrapping the top. The and now, first time around with dope, I'm going to stick with it. You stick with it. Don't go back to that car paint stuff. No, 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 I won't. After all this work, yeah. we'll get it. Now I'm, now I'm going to sit down and I'm going to throw out the... Second place beginner, Al Knight. A nice prowler. Hey! Outstanding. First place in his first competition ever. Whoop! Rick Person. <laughs> hey! Intermediate, intermediate, <laughs> intermediate. Only about seven points separated intermediate here. Third place. What a guy, Glenn Kaler. Hey! He's in the cage with the dog. Get in that box, Glenn. Second place with a very subdued airplane, Bob Robert Shaw. Whoa! In first place. Show me the toucan. He probably had the biggest trip to get here. Marco Chavez. Hey! Woohoo! Yeah. All right, all right. Nice job. I want my hubcaps back, too. <laughs> nice job. Fantastic. Uh, hope to see you again next year. I want my battery back. Advanced third spot from downtown Connecticut, Walt Johnson. Hey! Second place. Flying a nice airplane, Kyle Freeman. Whoa! Nice plane, Kyle! Good job, outstanding. Bob yeah, lose the shorts. <laughs> In first place, expert, expert, <laughs> Carlos Serra. Yay! <laughs> now for some editorial comments. August 24th, Hampton Beach, a nice meet and a great beach. September 6th and 7th at Hartford. Uh, a new meet, right? Yeah. All the guys yeah. going to put something yeah. on down here? Yeah.